Alrighty, so I have an Imperial knife here, and this is the Large Cracked Eyes Stockman. And it came in this generic box, model number IMP14L, L for large. Okay, and I gotta say, I was really amazed at this knife because it's listed as, it goes for $5.99, so six bucks on SMKW. And I was just really impressed on what you get for that $6. And the fit and finish and the quality of it, really good for which pay, you know. Obviously there's better knives out there, but you're gonna pay a lot more. But for $6, I carry this for the past couple days and I loved it. I love everything about it pretty much. Um, so the blade steel is listed as 3CR13 stainless steel. So they do list the steel. Um, I know a lot of knives under $10, they don't even list the steel because it's usually just generic trash steel. But so you have 3CR13 steel. And I really like the shape of this clip point blade. I really like the the print on here, the Imperial Shade. And you have that guy, looks like he's forming a knife. You have an Imperial Tang stamp that's stamped in the blade. You have that crown right there. Let's see. You have like a satin finish on these blades. They are sharp. It came really sharp, actually. Nice. Pretty even grind. Yeah, not bad for a six dollar knife. Then you have the IMP 14L stamped on the other side. No half stops, but great walk and talk. So one thing I love about this knife, it's just solid, really solid. Yeah, and that's all the blades. Really solid, none are weak. Owner lousy. Got that sheep's foot blade. Just your standard sheep's foot. No prints or tank stamps, but very good lock. Ooh, pretty solid. And I like my knives to have a solid walk and talk. Yeah. Here's that spay blade. A good looking spay. Not a fan of spay blades, but. This one looks pretty good. Got some, I think, bark. I stuck this in a tree the other day. <laughs> yeah. But you have nickel silver bolsters, and you can see the pins, actually. If you look closely, you can see the pins. So it's all the way pinned through on the bolsters. See that discoloration? That's a pin. You can see it. Maybe not on this side. Yeah, right there. So it's kind of cool. But you have these cracked ice celluloid plastic covers. It looks pretty decent. Kind of reminds you of like the pearl. That nice imperial shield. You have brass pins. No brass liners. So that's probably one of the budget cuts they did to save money. You just have stainless steel liners and back springs, but I don't mind because it works for me. Blades look pretty straight, no rubbing for me. You have this sheep's foot that is cranked like most Stockman's, but I, I didn't really expect this knife to be that great, you know? I just showed my old timer Lumberjack yesterday, and I feel like this knife is a lot better, and it's only six dollars. So, like I said before, this is in the large Stockman frame. I'll give you some size comparisons. Here is a Queen Stockman. Here is an old timer 8OT Stockman, USA made. Here is a Rough Rider Sow Belly, and then I got to throw in a Rough Rider Barlow. So this is standard large stockman size. As for weight, it's a pretty light knife. Nothing too crazy. 
2.9 ounces compared to, let's do 2.9. Point seven, so pretty average for a large stockman. Close length, we have about three and a, three and an eighth or three point eight inches. Close. The main blade is three inches or just under, and then full length. About six and three quarters open. But six dollars, I'm gonna keep saying six dollars because <laughs> it's crazy that this amazing knife is six dollars. Probably one of the best steels I've gotten. And it's still available as of right now. They have different sizes. They have a small stockman. I think they have a medium one. Um, in cracked ice and different colors. I think a couple are blue or brown. But the cracked eyes I really like. They also have a canoe, a small canoe, a whittler. I'm going to try to get some more of these cracked ice knives. Hopefully they all turn out like this. Because I just love, I love hearing that snap. It's like music to my ears. Alright. Well, I'm going to stop. Oh, getting a call. Alright, see you guys later.